We have formed a vaccine central team nine months ago to track every vaccine development for you. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez, part of that team. Haley, our viewers obviously have a lot of questions about those boosters. So many questions mm -hmm. coming at me. So I called on Dr. Gary Shepard, president of the Harris County Medical Society, to answer those questions about booster shots. When it comes to booster shots, can you get any that are available or can I mix mRNA vaccines? If you got Pfizer, can you get Moderna and vice versa? The answer is no. You should know which one you got initially and stick with it. You still should have your card or you should have a picture of your card maybe on your phone. Uh, but even if you don't have that, you're able, the, the pharmacies, your doctor's offices, wherever, is actually able to query uh, MTRAC. Who can get a booster now? Currently, the booster shots are recommended for people who are immunocompromised. One of the largest groups that we would see would be people who are uh, recipients of uh, transplants. When should I get a booster? We are expecting that uh, by next month, the uh, FDA uh, will approve having for everyone uh, above the age of uh, 16 to have booster shots and that would be eight months after you had your second. Why do I need a booster? So with the booster, it helps your immune system rev up a little bit more so it can fight uh, even when it comes to the variants. It'll be able to fight better. Where do I get a booster? At pharmacies in your doctor's offices, uh, for your clinics, uh, those are the type places that we're expecting to be able to get the vaccine. So again, boosters are only available now for immunocompromised patients. Everyone else who got an mRNA vaccine will have to wait probably about a month. And people who got Johnson & Johnson's vaccine will need to wait for that booster and not take an mRNA vaccine per CDC recommendations. Chris and Dominique. Mm -hmm. All right.